my opinion, Proactive HA is probably one of those features which is truly a hidden gem. Now, the cool thing about Proactive HA is that it's very easy to configure when you already have your integration tools installed and configured. In my particular case, I have Dell servers and I already have the open managed integration for VMware vSphere up and running. So it's fairly straightforward to enable Proactive HA. I can select the automation level and the remediation level. And then what's going to happen, I will need to select the uh, Proactive HA provider, which I've already mentioned is going to be my Dell Proactive HA provider. After I've done that, I can block or allow certain failures uh, from uh, being remediated. And then when I click save, it's going to be automatically configured. Now, the cool thing about Proactive HA is that it will actually place a host in maintenance mode or quarantine mode when a particular component of your uh, host has failed or is showing some form of degradation. As you can see, ESXi Dell E is jumping into quarantine mode and after that is actually going towards maintenance mode, which means that there's an issue with this particular server and all of the VMs that are running on the server are now moved to other hosts, other healthy hosts in the environment. And I think that is something that is truly uh, very useful for every single environment out there. Now, I do want to point out, although I enabled it on a vSAN cluster, it is not supported with vSAN today but it is supported for any environment out there that runs traditional storage.